The Russian troop buildup on Russia's border with Ukraine seems to raise concerns in the United States and in other Western nations. The US President Joe Biden said Friday he plans to send a small number of US forces to Eastern Europe in the near term, amid growing fears of a possible Russian invasion of Ukraine. I'll be moving US troops to Eastern Europe and the NATO countries in the near term. Not a lot. Thank you. Biden's comments come hours after the top U.S. military general warned the Russian invasion of Ukraine would be horrific for the country. He urged Russian President Vladimir Putin to choose a diplomatic path instead. Given the type of forces that are arrayed, uh, the ground maneuver forces, the artillery, the ballistic missiles, the air forces, uh, all of it packaged together, if that was unleashed on Ukraine, it would be significant, very significant, and it would result in a significant amount of casualties. While the U.S. put 10 of its Air Force bases on high alert, the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, said he did not see a greater threat now than during a similar massing of troops last spring. Today we do not see more escalation than it was before. Yes, the number of troops has increased, but I spoke about this at the beginning of 2021, when we talked about the military exercises of Russia. In a call with Macron lasting longer than an hour, Putin said the US and NATO had not taken into account Moscow's fundamental concerns about the expansion of NATO and deployment of strike missiles near the Russian border. 333. Fears in the West about a potential invasion of Moscow to Kiev were reassured by Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, who made it clear that Russia does not want war with its neighbor Ukraine.